You know, when you call something on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live for the past four months and it comes true, you'd be like, oh, man, I can't believe I actually predicted that left word for word, left for right. And that's exactly what I did with the Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Ronda Rousey situation. I said that either Becky or, Ron- Becky or Charlotte was going to win the Royal Rumble and then the, the latter. The other one was going to be added into this match some way, somehow, whether that be through the Elimination Chamber or that be through basically just being at it. And that's exactly what happened last night on Monday Night Raw. A lot of people are complaining, but how could you guys not see this coming? I mean, when this match was announced between Charlotte and Becky and Ronda, I knew WWE was going to add Charlotte Flair into this match. I mean, it's blatantly obvious that that they that they're showing favorites in the Charlotte, because you think that WWE was not going to have Charlotte into a big match at WrestleMania. I mean, come on, she was either going to be in the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match or this match. There's no other way around it. Charlotte's not fighting anybody else on at WrestleMania. It's a fight for a championship. That's exactly what she's doing, fighting for a championship. Exactly, and. You know, I ain't ashamed about it. I called it full center down the middle. You guys go back and watch my Survivor Series 2018 review. You guys go back and watch reviews from early on. Early on, I've been calling this since the middle of October, since the, probably the end of September, early October. I've been calling this idea and reviews. You guys go go back and watch. I got the receipts to show you guys. I'm not telling the truth. But this Monday Night Raw was nothing special. As always with Monday Night Raw, it's just, you know, some bright spots, some of them just nothing trash. Garbage. You know what I'm saying? But Raw Reviews are back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. He, uh, uh, we're on a roll to four, 500 subscribers, man. We're eight away as of this recording. Thank you guys for all the subscribers. Thank you so much for all the consistent support you guys have been showing me. Um, if you are new, hit this hit that like button, scratch down below. This is your Monday Night Raw review for February 11th, 2019. This is Valentine's Day week. Uh, Valentine's Day is Thursday, man. Very, very excited about that. I um, actually went to the store and got my girlfriend her goodies uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm very pretty excited on giving that to her on Thursday morning. So, yeah, that's going to be amazing to do. I uh, hope you guys have an awesome Valentine's Day. I do have a Valentine's Day video coming out for you guys uh, for on that day. But let's get to WWE. A lot of people are saying, well, 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 well Co-Train, why are you so negative, man? You know, why why are you, why are you only complaining about Charlotte Flair being in the match? Well, because she does not need to be there. I already explained with this when I came back to YouTube. Well, but my thoughts are WWE for the past three weeks. I said that Charlotte Flair does not need to be in this matchup with Becky and Ronda. Let Becky Lynch have a moment. Because Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey can carry the main event of WrestleMania. Because there's two legit stars. Becky Lynch is over as crap. Ronda Rousey is probably one of the biggest heels in the company. You have your WrestleMania match already. You don't need Charlotte in the match. I keep telling you guys that. You don't need Charlotte. Charlotte is just there to take the pin. Literally. That's all she's there for. To make sure Ronda Rousey does not take the pinfall. And that Becky pins her to win the Raw Women's Championship. Literally, that's all she's there for. All she's there for. Because, or she's probably going to win. Which I doubt she's going to win. I doubt it. I doubt she's going to win. I'm going with Becky Lynch. It's that simple. To win. Ronda's not pin game pin. I'm sorry. Ronda Rousey's going to have kids. That's what she's going to do. She's going to she's going to take a break from WWE after WrestleMania, and the purpose to drop the Women's Championship is WrestleMania. You get you put it on Becky, and you know you have Becky Lynch carry Monday Night Raw. Charlotte is only there to take the one, two, three, or the tap out. That's it. That's all Charlotte's there for. That's simple. And the McMahon family need to stay away from this feud. I don't know why we're going Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Vince McMahon. And, or, and, and The Rock and back in the 1990s. No. Come on. Get the McMahon family out of this feud. They don't need to be in here. Triple H need to focus on this WrestleMania match. Stephanie McMahon need to stay out of this crap. Vince needs to go back to the back. He needs to be in this match. Let them do their own thing. But you know, Vince McMahon loves Charlotte. Triple H loves Becky. Stephanie 
All of a sudden, out of nowhere, likes Ronda Rousey. What? That makes absolutely no sense. Why she likes Ronda Rousey? Wasn't they feuding last year at WrestleMania 34? Why are they all buddy? All of a sudden, she's a Ronda Rousey fan now. Yeah, I'm Stephanie McMahon. I'm a, I'm a Ronda Rousey fan. <laughs> Like, well, why is she all of a sudden a buddy buddy with her? That still to this to this day makes absolutely no sense. Stay out of this. You don't need to be in this feud. Let them do their own thing. And on April seventh, we're gonna see if I can predict the match how it goes. I'm telling you guys, Becky will win, but she will not pin Ronda Rousey. That simple. And if you and if you disagree with me, so be it. I don't care. You know it's the truth. You know the truth, and I know it's the truth. Maybe somehow she she pins Ronda, but doubtful, very doubtful. Uh, we, that's how we started Raw, man. Raw started off with the man finally inviting Becky Lynch back. Apparently, that they, they demand that they that she apologize to them, and if she does, um, she gets to keep her spot at WrestleMania. Uh, intact against Ronda Rousey. That's all that was, you know. Whatever. It was just it was it, was, it did what it needed, it did what it need to do, but you know the the the, the, the decision later on the night is not um you know you know it's just it is what it is. I seen it coming. Just that simple. Sasha Banks and Bailey versus the Riot Squad versus Tamina Snuka and Nia Jax. This was the tag team matchup to see the final men women who will be in the um. The, the elimination chamber. Um, I'm very glad about this decision. Let me tell you why. Jax and Snooker winning this matchup proves to proves to me that WWE is going this route. That Bailey and Sasha Banks will be the women's tag team champions at WrestleMania. That's exactly what I wanted them to happen. Because you need something big for Bailey and Sasha to do at WrestleMania. And them becoming the women's tag team champions at WrestleMania would be um you know um great to see. Jackson Snooker winning, I don't mind. Long as that long as Botch Snooker does not get the um women's tag team championships, I'm good. As long as they don't win it. Do whatever. Y'all just did it fill a spot. Good job. Lucha Files Party in the Rust Elias. Uh I didn't care. This, 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 this was a complete waste of time. Now Elias is moving on with the Lucha, new, new Lucha House Party. Nobody asked for this. Why is not, Why is Elias not fighting, you know, for the Intercontinental Championship? You know, why is he not in that feud? Why is he stuck with Lucha, the Lucha House Party, which nobody asked for? Nobody cares about that feud. A complete waste of my time. Absolutely complete waste of my time. Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. You know, it was just a the the usual with with Finn Balor. Of course, uh, the the lone failure showed up. Um, Mister Monster Mung forget his lines showed up, and Kurt Angle, who does not need to be in the ring with none of these people, showed up. Of course, and then Bobby Trashley was here, and Leo Rush, who's wasting his time with Bobby Trashley, was there as well. Um, Balor won, defeated him via pinfall. This just went up to your generic six-man tag team match. That's all that did. And it left Balor, Angle, and Strowman standing tall against Corbin, Lashley, and McIntyre. When is this thing with Kurt Angle and McIntyre going to end? Like, seriously. When is this, when is this thing going to end with him and McIntyre? When is Strowman and Corbin going to stop beefing with each other? When is Balor and Lashley going to stop beefing with each other? It's like WWE we, is rehashing the same thing over and over and over again with a different stance on it. Trashley is a terrible Intercontinental Champion. Braun Strowman is a show of his old self. Kurt Angle does not, does not even belong in the ring with these with these six men, except Finn Balor or Andrew McIntyre. That's it. That's the only thing that's the only reason Kurt Angle is supposed to be in the ring with. That's it. And you're just wasting Kurt Angle. And Balor deserves to be Intercontinental Champion. That's that simple. Waste of everybody's time. Nobody cares about this feud. I don't care. It's the same thing every week. Get it through your heads, people. It's the same thing. It's not nothing different. And we had Nikki Cross versus Ruby Riot. It, 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 this made me mad. Really, really mad. So, Nikki Cross was formerly undefeated. Now she loses to Ruby Riot? What? This was a waste of time. What was the point? What was the point of this? This 
was just terrible. Really terrible. A waste of tell my television time I watched do this. It was not it was not no effort at all. They completely were just wasting your time. Are you kidding me? That's the best you have for the women? A generic one on one match? That's the best thing you have for these for these women. Seriously, WWE, that's the best thing you got. Absolutely garbage. Garbage. Really was. A complete waste of your time and my time. Why is Nikki Cross losing to Ruby Riot, who hasn't been built up for months? Can you answer that for me? Why? But again, I told you guys, NXT superstars get buried on Monday Night Raw. It's that simple. Unless you're unless you're magical, like Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. Just that simple. Seth Rollins and Justice Brock Lesnar, as usual, you know, you know. You know, there's just you know this was just a, a promo by Le- by Rollins that got interesting at the end. Rollins was last during the match to be done at the hands of Brock Lesnar, but he returned Monday night to just his WrestleMania 35 opponents. Rollins woke up his last year, admitted he 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 has been hurt and that agony of six F five is unlike anything he has ever experienced. But but he vowed in Rollins WrestleMania to defeat Lesnar. They promised that brought out the advocate of the reign, defending undisputed beast incarnate Paul Heyman. Raymond said, Ryan said, it's everything, and if Rollins is not careful, he will be the architect of his own demise. Rollins promised that he would burn, that, that, that promise he would burn in hell before Lester left WrestleMania with his title. Dean Ambrose interrupted the proceedings and came face to face with his former partner turned bitter rival. After momentary uh, unisys, the Lucifer friend said, Slay the Beast, offering support to the man he traveled the roads with so often. This promo really, really, really said that this is the end. This is the end for Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is gone. You know, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Dean Ambrose is done after WrestleMania 35. He said, Seth Rollins, I, you have my approval. Be the face of the company. I'm leaving. That, that, that's, that's, literally what, that's literally what that promo told me. He's done. He's done. He's not coming back to WWE. This is, this is it. It's over. You would think that EC3 would get a massive victory over uh, over um, Ambrose, but no. Ambrose defeated EC3, 50-50 booking. That, that's all that was. Really, really, it really is ridiculous. If Ambrose is out the door, why is he beating NXT talent? If he's leaving the company for real, why is he beating NXT talent when he should be putting them over? Makes no sense. Bobby Roode and uh, Chad Gale versus The Revival. Thank the Lord. The, the Revival uh, won the Wild Tag Team Championships. This was good. Really good. This is how you showcase old school tag team wrestling. Literally. That's how you showcase it. WWE should put more of those things on the main roster instead of doing it in NXT. Just that simple. That was v- great. Can we keep doing that, please? Please? Keep it up. I, I hope the revival hold the tag team titles for a long time because they, they need to fix this division. And like JD says, it's the AEW effect. It's literally why the revival won the tag team championships. The AEW effect, because you know that, that the revival are on their way out. I, I, you know it, and I know it. Just that simple. Becky's dilemma, at, and finally, and um, like I said earlier, early on in the um, in the, in the um review. Be- Charlotte Flair taking Becky Lynch's spot, but you all know that Becky will be added back in, and that's going to be it's going to be Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. I already explained that at the at the top of the review, so there you go, guys. That was Monday Night Raw. Overall, it's just garbage show as usual. But uh, there were there are some bright spots. I'll give it a four out of ten. You know what I'm saying? I you know that, that that's that's being nice. I give it a four out of ten, and. WWE has really made the Royal Rumble, Women's Royal Rumble, not important. How can you take a guaranteed WrestleMania spot from the winner of the Royal Rumble? That makes absolutely no sense. No sense at all. You, she won the Royal Rumble. Why does why does her spot have to be gone? Makes no sense. It makes the Royal Rumble meaningless. That's what that does. Ridiculous. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. You did enjoy the review. Hit that like button, subscribe down below. I will be streaming Universe Mode. This video will probably be up. Before uh, Universe Mode goes up on the air. 
But thank you so much for everything, guys. I, I've been your host, Coltrane, and I will talk to you guys in my next review tomorrow. SmackDown Live review and SmackDown Live for Universe Mode. I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out, guys.